Hi there, it's Pride Daily for Saturday. Here's the fourth of our specials on LGBTQ plus trailblazers. Harvey Milk was the first openly gay elected official in California and one of the first in America. He won a seat on the San Francisco Board of Supervisors in 1977. Milk was responsible for protections for LGBTQ plus people so they couldn't be fired from their jobs or be denied homes to rent. And he successfully campaigned against something called Proposition 6, trying to ban gay teachers from public schools so they couldn't molest children. The 48-year-old was murdered by a former colleague in November 1978, along with San Francisco Mayor George Moscone. Cleve Jones is a human rights activist and was mentored by Milk. He told After Buzz TV about the man he knew. He was very kind. He was very funny. He could be a total bitch. He was the first adult to tell me that I had value as I was. He was there whenever I got my heart broken. He genuinely loved people and his city and was courageous. Milk was also in the US Navy and served during the Korean War. One of his first campaigns was for a pooper scooper law requiring dog owners to clean up after their animals. Transgender rights advocate Rene Green is the executive director of Transwave Jamaica. It's illegal to be LGBTQ plus there with no anti-discrimination laws or gender recognition legislation. Rene and her organisation push for better access for trans people to the likes of healthcare, jobs, education and housing. It's trans and gender non-conforming national health strategy, looking at the structural and societal changes needed to achieve these goals, is backed by the UN. And British actor Serena McKelling came out as gay in January 1988 on the radio. He did so as a protest against plans to criminalise what was referred to as the promotion of homosexuality. Section 28 was similar to Florida's Don't Say Gay laws and wasn't abolished until 2003. The 84-year-old says coming out changed his whole life for the better almost overnight and it even improved his acting because he was more emotionally available. I'm Kev McGrath. Pride Daily's back with more LGBTQ plus trailblazers on Monday.